Listening test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand spoken English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC listening test with half the usual number of questions. You don't need to write anything down. Answers are provided immediately after each question. There are four parts and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Let's kick off with part one, listening photographs. Get ready to analyze some images and pick the best response. Number one. A. A woman is talking on the phone in a classroom. B. A man is writing on the board. C. A teacher is giving a lecture. D. A group of students is waiting for a bus. The correct answer is A. A woman is talking on the phone in a classroom. Number 2. A. An architect is giving a presentation to a client. B. Two people are having a meeting in a conference room. C. A group of engineers is discussing a project. D. Two people are reviewing blueprints in an office. The correct answer is D. Two people are reviewing blueprints in an office. Number 3. A. People are waiting in line for a sale in a store. B. A man is giving a presentation in an office. C. A woman is taking notes in a shopping mall. D. A group of people is attending a business meeting. The correct answer is C. A woman is taking notes in a shopping mall. Number 4. A. A man and woman are working in an office. B. A group of children is playing in a field. C. Two people are sitting in a park. D. A man is swimming in the ocean. The correct answer is A. A man and woman are working in an office. Number 5. A. Workers are having a meeting at a construction site. B. A group of people is attending a business conference. C. A professor is giving a lecture in a classroom. D. People are studying in a large conference room. The correct answer is D. People are studying in a large conference room. Number 6. A. Several cars are parked in front of a store. B. People are walking along a beach. C. Passengers are sitting in a train station. D. A man is riding a bicycle through the park. The correct answer is C. Passengers are sitting in a train station. Now, let's move on to part two. Listening, question response. Time to sharpen your listening skills and pick the correct replies. Number one. How often do the buses run? A. I don't have a ticket. B. Every 15 minutes. C. I'm walking instead. The correct answer is B. Every 15 minutes. Number 2. Can you complete the report by Friday? A. I will do my best. B. It's about the sales figures. C. Friday is a holiday. The correct answer is A. I will do my best. Number 3. Can we reschedule the appointment? A. Because of the meeting. B. It was rescheduled. C. Sure. How about Friday? The correct answer is C. Sure. How about Friday? Number 4. When is the next meeting scheduled? A. No, I haven't received any updates. B. It's in the main conference room. C. Next Monday at 10 a.m. The correct answer is C. Next Monday at 10 a.m. Number 5. Have you finished the budget proposal? A. I think it was finished last week. B. No, I need more time. C. Yes, I submitted it this morning. The correct answer is C. Yes, I submitted it this morning.
Number six. Who will be leading the meeting? A. Mr. Johnson from our. B. Yes, I've prepared the documents. C. The meeting is at 3 p.m. The correct answer is A. Mr. Johnson from our. Number 7. Which department handles customer complaints? A. The customer service department. B. Yes, they're very efficient. C. I will file a complaint soon. The correct answer is A. The customer service department. Number 8. Do you know where the post office is? A. I mailed the package yesterday. B. The stamp collection is impressive. C. It's next to the library. The correct answer is C. It's next to the library. Number 9. Which team won the match? A. The Tigers won. B. It was a close game. C. Yes, I watched the match. The correct answer is A. The Tigers won. Number 10. How do you usually get to work? A. I take the bus. B. The office is far from my house. C. Yes, I'll come by car today. The correct answer is A. I take the bus. Number 11. Do you know how to operate this machine? A. The manual is over there. B. Yes, I was trained last month. C. It's a complex machine. The correct answer is B. Yes, I was trained last month. Number 12. Where did you put the files? A. On your desk. B. I'll check my email. C. I haven't seen them. The correct answer is A. On your desk. Great job so far. Next is part three. Listening. Conversations. Listen carefully to short dialogues and answer the questions that follow. Number one. Are there any updates on the new brochure design? The design team sent the first draft this morning. Can I see it this afternoon? I'll forward it to you after lunch. When will the man see the brochure design? A. Tomorrow. B. After lunch. C. This morning. The correct answer is B. After lunch. Number 2. I thought our meeting was scheduled for tomorrow. No, it's actually today at 3 p.m. Oh, I must have read the calendar wrong. No worries, I'll send you a reminder. When was the meeting actually scheduled? A. Today at 3 p.m. B. Yesterday at 3 p.m. C. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. The correct answer is A. Today at 3 p.m. Number 3. Can you send me the details of the new marketing strategy? I just finished the document. I'll email it to you now. Perfect. I want to review it before the meeting. Sure. You should have it in your inbox shortly. What will the man review before the meeting? A. The project report. B. The marketing strategy. C. The sales data. The correct answer is B. The marketing strategy. Number 4. I noticed some discrepancies in last month's expense report. Oh, can you provide more details? Sure, I'll pull up the report and point them out to you. Thank you. Let's address this immediately. What did the man notice? A. Discrepancies in the expense report. B. An increase in sales. C. A decrease in revenue. The correct answer is A. Discrepancies in the expense report. Number 5. Did you hear about the new project assignment? Yes, we need to submit our proposal by next Friday. That gives us a week to prepare. 
Let's schedule a meeting to discuss our ideas. When is the proposal due? A. Next Friday. B. Next Wednesday. C. Next Monday. The correct answer is A. Next Friday. Number six. I need to book a flight to New York for the conference next week. Do you prefer a morning or an afternoon flight? Morning, please. It's better to arrive early. What time of the day does the man prefer to fly? A. In the afternoon. B. In the morning. C. At night. The correct answer is B. In the morning. Number seven. Can we review the budget report this afternoon? I'm free after 2 p.m. How about we meet at 3 p.m. in the conference room? That sounds good. When will they meet to review the budget report? A. In the morning. B. At 3 p.m. C. At 2 p.m. The correct answer is B. At 3 p.m. Number 8. Are you attending the conference next week? Yes, I have already registered. Great. I'll see you there then. Looking forward to it. When is the conference? A. This week. B. In two weeks. C. Next week. The correct answer is C. Next week. Number 9. I got an email about a software update. Do we need to install it today? Yes, it's important for the new features. Okay, I will ask guests to handle it by the end of the day. Great. We can test everything tomorrow. When will the software be updated? A. Next week. B. Tomorrow. C. Today. The correct answer is C. Today. Number 10. Do you have the minutes from last week's meeting? Yes, I'll email them to you in a few minutes. Thanks. I need to review them before today's meeting. No problem. What will the man do with the minutes? A. Review them. B. Print them. C. Delete them. The correct answer is A. Review them. Number 11. I received a call from our client at Johnson & Co. today. What did they say? They want us to prepare a proposal by next Friday. That's tight, but we can manage. When is the proposal due? A. By next Monday. B. By next Friday. C. By next month. The correct answer is B. By next Friday. Number 12. Do you have time for a quick meeting later today? I'm free after 3 p.m. Perfect. Let's meet at 3.30 p.m. in my office. I'll be there. Where will the meeting take place? A. In the cafeteria. B. In the man's office. C. In a conference room. The correct answer is B. In the man's office. Let's dive into part four. Listening talks. You'll hear brief talks or speeches, so stay focused for the questions. Number one. Thank you for coming to our financial literacy workshop. Today, we'll cover basic budgeting skills and how to save effectively. Remember, the key to financial health is understanding your expenses and planning for the future. Feel free to ask questions during the session. What is the main topic of today's workshop? A. Investing in stocks. B. Starting a business. C. Basic budgeting skills. The correct answer is C. Basic budgeting skills. Number two. This is a message from the city's water department. Due to maintenance work, water supply will be temporarily shut off in the downtown area from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. When will the water supply be shut off? A. 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. tomorrow. B. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. C. 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. today. The correct answer is A. 
10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. Number 3. Thank you for joining today's business seminar. Our focus will be on improving workplace efficiency. Remember to take notes and engage in the Q&A session. Refreshments will be served during the break. What is the focus of the business seminar? A. Improving workplace efficiency. B. Team building activities. C. Financial management. The correct answer is A. Improving workplace efficiency. Number 4. Good morning and thank you for attending this seminar on financial planning. We will cover topics such as budgeting, investing, and saving for retirement. Please take notes and feel free to ask questions during the Q&A session at the end. What will be discussed during the seminar? A. Marketing strategies. B. Budgeting, investing, and saving for retirement. C. Networking opportunities. The correct answer is A. Budgeting, investing, and saving for retirement. Number 5. Our community library offers a wide selection of books, magazines, and digital resources. We hold reading programs for all ages and workshops on various topics. Membership is free, and we encourage everyone to make use of this wonderful facility. Visit our website for more details. What does the community library offer besides books? A. Magazines and digital resources. B. Sports equipment. C. Travel brochures. The correct answer is C. Magazines and digital resources. Number 6. Attention shoppers. Our Black Friday sale starts this Friday at 6 a.m. Enjoy discounts of up to 70% on selected items. Store opens early, so come in and grab the best deals while stocks last. Happy shopping. When does the Black Friday sale start? A. At 8 a.m. B. At 6 a.m. C. At midnight. The correct answer is A. At 6 a.m. Number 7. Welcome to our community gardening workshop. Today, we'll teach you how to plant and care for a variety of vegetables. Our experts will provide soil preparation tips, watering schedules, and pest control methods. Please gather at the demonstration area. What will the experts provide? A. Free plants. B. Soil preparation tips. C. Garden layout designs. The correct answer is B. Soil preparation tips. Number 8. Join us for the annual health fair at Riverside Park this Saturday. There will be free health screenings, fitness classes, and wellness workshops. Don't miss the keynote speech by Dr. Smith at 10 a.m. Stay healthy and informed. What time is Dr. Smith's speech? A. 9 a.m. B. 11 a.m. C. 10 a.m. The correct answer is C. 10 a.m. Number 9. Please note that the town's water supply will be temporarily shut off for maintenance this Sunday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. We advise residents to store enough water in advance. Updates will be posted on the town's website and social media. When will the water supply be shut off? A. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. B. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. C. Friday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. The correct answer is A. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Number 10. Welcome to Healthy Bites Cafe. Our menu features homemade dishes prepared with fresh, local ingredients. We are committed to offering a variety of vegetarian and vegan options, as well as gluten-free choices. Don't miss our daily specials and homemade desserts. Please let us know if you have any dietary restrictions. What type of options does Healthy Bites Cafe offer? A. Seafood specials. B. Vegetarian and vegan. C. Only gluten-free.
The correct answer is B. Vegetarian and vegan. Number 11. Please listen carefully. In case of a fire, use the nearest exit and move to the designated assembly point outside the building. Do not use elevators. And if you encounter smoke, stay low to the ground. Follow the instructions of emergency personnel. What should you avoid using during a fire? A. The stairwell. B. The nearest exit. C. Elevators. The correct answer is A. Elevators. Number 12. We are excited to announce the launch of our new product line. Featuring cutting edge technology and user friendly interfaces, these products are designed to enhance your daily life. Visit our website for more information and special launch promotions. What is the main purpose of the announcement? A. To promote a community event. B. To announce a new product line. C. To discuss safety procedures. The correct answer is C. To announce a new product line. Reading test. In this section, you'll demonstrate your ability to understand written English. This is a shortened version of the TOEIC reading test with half the usual number of questions. No need to rush, just follow along and answers will be provided after each question. There are three parts, and directions will be given for each. Let's begin. Time for the reading section. Let's start with part five. Incomplete sentences. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. Number one, the manager. The report by the time you arrive. A, was finishing. B, has finished. C, will have finished. D, finishes. The correct answer is C. We'll have finished. Number two. He succeeded. Getting the funding for the new project. A. With. B. Two. C. On. D. In. The correct answer is D. In. Number three. The results were disappointing than expected. A. More. B. As. C. Most. D. Two. The correct answer is A. More. Number four. The budget was exceeded. The project was completed successfully. A. And. B. Because. C. But. D. So. The correct answer is C. But. Number five. He regrets. The opportunity to expand the business. A. Missing. B. Misses. C. Miss. D. To miss. The correct answer is A. Missing. Number six. We must submit the report. The end of the day. A. By. B. In. C. At. D. On. The correct answer is A. By. Number seven. The report needs to. By the end of the day. A. Finishing. B. Finished. C. Finish. D. Be finished. The correct answer is D. Be finished. Number 8. We've been working on this project. Several months. A. Since. B. During. C. In. D. For. The correct answer is D. For. Number 9. We need to submit the report. The deadline tomorrow. A. By. B. On. C. In. D. At. The correct answer is A. By. Number 10. He. In the company for five years now. A. 
worked. B. Has worked. C. Is working. D. Works. The correct answer is B. Has worked. Number 11. They. Here since 2010. A. Are working. B. Worked. C. Had worked. D. Have worked. The correct answer is D. Have worked. Number 12. They are interested. Expanding their business. A. At. B. In. C. 2. D. 4. The correct answer is B. In. Next up is Part 6. Reading. Text completion. Complete each text by choosing the best answer for the single gap. Number 1. The company picnic will be held next Saturday. Weather. Please check your email for updates. A. Permitted. B. Permit. C. Permitting. D. Permits. The correct answer is C. Permitting. Number 2. To all employees, the meeting scheduled for tomorrow has been to next Monday due to unforeseen circumstances. Thank you for your understanding. Best. Management. A. Rescheduled. B. Reschedules. C. Reschedule. D. Rescheduling. The correct answer is A. Rescheduled. Number 3. To our valued customers, our office will be closed. The holidays. We will reopen on January the 2nd. Best wishes, customer support. A. During. B. For. C. On. D. With. The correct answer is B. For. Number 4. To all staff, the company picnic will be held on June 5th. Please. The date on your calendar and let us know if you will attend. A. Marking. B. Marked. C. Mark. D. Marks. The correct answer is C. Mark. Number 5. Dear Mr. Brown, your recent request to Your account details has been received. Please allow up to 48 hours for processing. Best regards, customer service. A. Update. B. Updating. C. Updated. D. Updates. The correct answer is A. Update. Number 6. The meeting has been rescheduled to Friday. And please mark your calendars accordingly. A. Afternoon. B. Afternoons. C. Late. D. Later. The correct answer is A. Afternoon. And finally, Part 7. Reading. Reading Comprehension. Get ready to read passages and answer questions based on them. Let's finish strong. Number 1. Dear customers, our mobile app will be undergoing maintenance this Saturday from midnight to 4 a.m. During this time, the app will be unavailable. We apologize for any inconvenience caused and appreciate your understanding. Sincerely, the support team. When will the app be unavailable? A. Next Sunday morning. B. This Saturday from midnight to 4 a.m. C. Next Friday afternoon. The correct answer is B. This Saturday from midnight to 4 a.m. Number 2. Join us for a free webinar on financial planning this Thursday at 2 p.m. Learn from experts about budgeting, investing, and retirement planning. Register online by visiting our website. What is the main topic of the webinar? A. Career development. B. Financial planning. C. Health and wellness.
The correct answer is B. Financial planning. Number 3. We are delighted to let you know about our upcoming seminar, Leadership in the Modern Workplace, taking place on September 20th at our downtown office. This seminar is open to all employees interested in enhancing their leadership skills. Register by September 15th to secure your spot. What is the content of the announcement? A. Team building activity. B. Leadership seminar. C. New office opening. The correct answer is B. Leadership Seminar Number 4. Thank you for your continued support. In appreciation, we are offering an exclusive 15% discount to our newsletter subscribers on all purchases made through our website. Use code THANKYOU15 at checkout to redeem this offer. Valid through the end of the month. What is being offered? A. New product trial. B. Free shipping. C. Exclusive discount. The correct answer is C. Exclusive discount. Number 5. Welcome to all new employees. There will be an orientation session next Wednesday at 9 a.m. in the main conference hall. This session will cover company policies, benefits, and an overview of our major projects. We are excited to have you on board and look forward to working with you. What is happening next Wednesday? A. An orientation session for new employees. B. A company party. C. A project deadline. The correct answer is A. A training workshop. Number 6. We are pleased to inform you that the annual shareholders meeting will take place on November 25th at 10 a.m. in the main conference hall. Attendance is highly encouraged, as we will be discussing the company's future plans and financial performance. Please RSVP by November 20th. What is the purpose of this announcement? A. To announce a company closure. B. To notify about a meeting. C. To introduce new shareholders. The correct answer is B. To notify about a meeting. Number 7. Greetings all. Please be advised that our office will be closed for the holidays from December 24th to January 2nd. Normal business operations will resume on January 3rd. We wish everyone a happy and safe holiday season. Best wishes, company management. During which dates will the office be closed? A. January 1st to January 10th. B. December 20th to December 25th. C. December 24th to January 2nd. The correct answer is C. November 24th to December 1st. Number 8. Join us for the annual Environmental Awareness Week starting April 17th. Various workshops, panels, and activities will be organized to educate participants about sustainability practices. Everyone is invited to take part and make a difference. What is the purpose of the annual Environmental Awareness Week? A. To sell eco-friendly products. B. To educate about sustainability practices. C. To fundraise for a cause. The correct answer is B. To celebrate a holiday. Number 9. The company will be launching a new health and wellness program, which includes weekly fitness classes, healthy eating workshops, and mindfulness sessions. All employees are encouraged to participate and take advantage of these beneficial activities. What will be included in the new program? A. Annual leave. B. Fitness classes and workshops. C. Health checks. The correct answer is B fitness classes and workshops. Number 10. Dear students, the university has organized a series of workshops on career development and job searching skills. These sessions will run from November 1st to November 15th in the Career Services Center. All students are encouraged to participate and make the best use of this opportunity. For registration and details, 
visit the university website. Best regards, the Career Services Team. What is the announcement about? A. University sports events. B. New academic courses. C. Career development workshops. The correct answer is C. Career development workshops. Number 11. Dear team, we are thrilled to announce that we have been awarded the Industry Leader Award for this year. This recognition reflects our team's hard work and dedication. Let's continue striving for excellence. Congratulations, the Executive Board. What is the main purpose of this announcement? A. To announce an award received. B. To introduce new products. C. To plan a meeting. The correct answer is A. To announce an award received. Number 12. Friends of the Library, we're happy to inform you that our annual book fair is scheduled for October 15th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. There will be a wide variety of books available, and all proceeds will benefit the library's programs. We hope to see you there. Sincerely, the library staff. When is the book fair taking place? A. October 15th. B. September 20th. C. November 10th. The correct answer is A. August 30th. Number 13. Notice. The elevator in Building B will be undergoing repairs from Tuesday, October 5th to Friday, October 8th. During this period, please use the stairs or the elevator in Building A. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause and appreciate your understanding. What is the announcement about? A. A new parking policy. B. A fire drill in Building B. C. Elevator repairs in Building B. The correct answer is C. Elevator repairs in Building B. Number 14. Dear Team. We have scheduled a series of training workshops next month to enhance our skills in digital marketing. These sessions will be held every Tuesday and Thursday from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. Participation is mandatory. What is the purpose of the scheduled workshops? A. To enhance skills in digital marketing. B. To train on customer service. C. To introduce new software. The correct answer is A. To improve team building. Number 15. Join us for the annual company picnic at Riverside Park this Saturday. From 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., there will be games, food, and fun activities for all ages. Bring your family and enjoy a day of relaxation with your colleagues. What is being announced in this message? A. A new work policy. B. A business conference. C. An annual company picnic. The correct answer is C. An employee training workshop. Number 16. Dear customers, we are delighted to bring a new line of organic products exclusively to our store in downtown Seattle. To mark this occasion, every purchase of these new products will earn you double loyalty points. Be quick, as this offer is valid for a limited time only. Visit us at 456 Elm Street starting next Tuesday. We are eager to serve you. Best regards, the Organic Store Team. What is the purpose of this announcement? A. To announce a store closure. B. To offer free products. C. To introduce a new product line. The correct answer is C. To introduce a new product line. Number 17. Dear valued customers, we are thrilled to announce the launch of our new product line next month. These innovations will bring you the latest in technology and design. Stay tuned for more details on our official website. What is the announcement about? A. Discontinuing an old product line. B. Launching a new product line. C. Offering a discount on existing products. The correct answer is B. Launching a new product line. 
Number 18. Dear Team, Please be reminded that our quarterly project review meeting is set for Friday, April 10th at 10 a.m. in the main conference room. Make sure to have your progress reports ready for discussion. Your punctuality and participation are highly appreciated. Best, Project Manager. When is the quarterly project review meeting? A. Thursday, April 9th at 11 a.m. B. Monday, April 13th at 9 a.m. C. Friday, April 10th at 10 a.m. The correct answer is C. Wednesday, April 15th at 10 a.m.